Welcome to the other stuff. In the spring of 2016, two sophomores posed one of the most divisive and controversial questions Northampton High School has ever seen. Henry Dunn and Max Weisenthal presented a theoretical situation that has ascended to the status of the most popular would you rather question of the class of 2018. The question was this, you are stuck in this school for a period of six hours. You can go anywhere inside of the school, all doors are open. However, you cannot leave until those six hours are completely finished. You have to choose whether you spend these six hours in the company of either 200 Hercules moths, which are this big, or one grizzly bear. The choice is yours. We asked the creators themselves to give us their positions on the issue. When two people have uh, certain phobias, one rational, one completely irrational, they combine to make a question so philosophical, so profound, it, it creates a, a renaissance of thought within the community. And I think that bear versus moth has done just that. Uh, we were sitting there doing uh, pretty much nothing, and we decided to come up with a very controversial question. I think a bear would be terrified, absolutely terrified, in an environment like this. And it's unpredictable. Its movements, its feelings, it's unpredictable. It could be aggressive. If you're right next to it, it's dropped to a school, it's going to pounce. It's going to attack you. Okay? If you're trapped in a room with like 20, 30 moths, you're like, let's say you're in the computer lab and you look around and there's 20 Hercules moths on the walls, you are going to have, you're going to have PTSD like most likely after that. That is bad. You think about all the bears you see on TV, friendly bears. You got Yogi Bear, the bears seen bears seem like a good group of people. I mean, when was the last time a bear literally attacked a person? The logistics of the situation were beyond our comprehension, so we decided to consult some local experts. So, as a scientist, I know lots of facts about bears. For instance, a full-grown grizzly bear can grow over 500 kilograms. That's over 1,000 pounds. And a grizzly can run at over 15 meters per second. That's more than 30 miles per hour. Not only that, but they're faster running uphill than they are downhill and they're excellent climbers. But, on the other hand, moths can fly, and dragons can fly. So in my time, I've done quite a few mathematical or scientific studies, and through all of those, the best I can do is come up with a mere guess that moths are responsible for 0% of all deaths. With this new information, we decided to turn to the students to get their takes. Uh, I'm a moth expert, and I think it would be really cool to spend an afternoon with moths. If I was stuck inside of the school for six hours, um, I think I would choose to be stuck inside the school like with a grizzly bear. Because, um, I don't know, I feel like they can be pretty cuddly if you're nice to them. <laughs> I think I'd rather be stuck with 200 moths because hopefully if I had bug spray on, they wouldn't come near me. I'm going to have to go with bear on this one uh, just because I honestly think it'd be kind of fun to be stuck in a school with a grizzly bear. I'd go with the moth because it can't do anything. Um, I'd go with the moth as well because Worst comes to worst, I will kill the moth, and I could potentially eat it for an energy source. As you can see, the debate rages on with no end in sight. But debates weren't meant to divide people. They were meant to bring people together and open them up to new ideas. So remember, when you're debating things with your friends, whether it be politics, sports, or the dangers of an apex predator versus a harmless insect, please be respectful.